coming to Cape Town, I've learned a lot of things. I've been able to learn that uh, from a little or small story, it can be a window to great things in Africa. We live in a world of uh, multimedia journalism, and uh, when I saw this, I saw it as an opportunity to uh, strengthen myself in that capacity. I've never done video editing before. I've done a little sound editing. So I think it's just what I've been looking forward to, the skills I needed to, to acquire. I think storytelling has a power which I think journalists in today's world, especially in my part of the world, may be missing. When you focus so much on issues and keep stories aside, you are not able to capture the, the attention of an audience. In Africa, our stories are more of folk tales. We, we have not started telling stories of real people in real situations. Within this period, uh, our, I was taught on how to follow a character, get him to trust you, and get him to tell you his story right from his heart. This report is there in the weekends from Zoli. Ah. And, and then I bring it here at home, I break it, I put in the bags. So when the bags is full, the truck from the recycle. I don't like my mother to do this reflection. I know it's dangerous, it's dangerous. He is wound. Yeah, the cut here. Yeah. Back in my country, the media don't cover the people, they cover only the government. So here I've been taught how to move in, get them to, to, to be themselves, to tell what's happening to them that the world will never know unless you get close to them. The only stories that you hear mostly out of our country are those of our hardcore political stories where uh, the government is this, the government has corruption and all of that. But there are stories down the line touching the, uh, the lives of uh, the common people that are untold. And I think I'm going to start to dip into those uh, stories and get them out. My name is Mishek Tao. I work here at Zolis. I work there as a, as a griller. I grill the meat for the, for the customers. Yesterday, we spent almost 12 hours just uh, editing three-minute film, so that was very interesting. The work schedule surprised me, but it, it, it was a pleasant surprise. I've learned so much about the norms of documentary, narrative documentary in particular, learning to focus on a character and tell a story right through the end and be able to capture the attention of an audience. In this ANC, they are promising people they don't fulfill their promises. That's why we're not going to vote for ANC anymore. Any, any, any of them. I've learned how to edit, important things about filming, shooting, and some ethics of film production. A lot of stories coming out of Africa are not too good stories. However, there are positive ones, and I think we need to project the positive aspect of African issues. Oh, but now I export my own fish now, with my own company. Okay. It means that a fishing company. Now the coconut is very nice, the business place. And this quiet place here in the land of South Africa is very, very good. Yeah, the family is here, my wife and my kids. I have uh, five kids now here. This community, they need more job creation. It is still we, the people who live in this community, must create that job. It's up to us. Thanks to this workshop, after this I'm going to have uh, a laptop to use to produce more documentaries and after which I should be able to uh, be more independent. When I worked in on Monday, I knew nothing about filming. But today I have shot my own documentary thanks to Media Project. I was able to edit it and uh, I came up with something that I think for a beginner, uh, I can say I've tried. I'm so grateful to the Media Project and all the facilitators for this one week that we had in Cape Town. It has been a wonderful stay here. It's been a great privilege to be chosen to be part of this great team. And I'm sure it's the beginning of good things to come. Educating somebody is, is building a future, is building the world, it's, it's developmental oriented. I think it's good. And I think journalism in our century, in our generation, is going to owe a lot of thanks to the media project. Mm -hmm.